Hi Greedy 3D, as you know how much I love testing new resins in my printers. Well today the mighty Elegoo have sent me some resins to play with. This is the Elegoo ABS Like 3 Pro and I've also got some of this Elegoo ABS Like 3 Plus. I'm going to be trying them in two printers. We're going to be using them in the Uniformation GK3 Ultra and the Hay Gears RS, the Ultragraph Reflex RS. I'll talk about the settings I use in the Uniformation. Of course, I don't really need any settings in this one, but we'll talk about the profile that we use to get it to print. And I'll show you the end result and we'll talk about what I thought about these resins. Stay tuned. The first resin to play with today is the Elegoo ABS Like Resin 3 Pro. We're also going to be playing with the Elegoo Upgraded ABS Like Resin 3 Plus. Different printers, different settings. Ah, let's see what the results are like. Starting off with the Pro. This is the 3 Pro resin, and we're going to be using this in the Hay Gears Ultra Craft Reflex. RS. I am going to be using my heater up to 23 degrees and I am going to be using the PARP 10 settings for this resin so it will work in the Ultracraft Reflex RS rest assured just use the PARP 10 setting and all will be well and there we go as promised all printed beautifully and let's get it off the bill plate and as you can see the settings for the the uh, first few layers were beautiful and it's all coming off the bill plate wonderfully now to get the supports off a couple of little tricks we can use we're going to be using a hairdryer here to warm up the supports and this is a great way to loosen them so that a they come off really really easily and b you leave as few divots behind as possible uh, taking them off cold will leave more of them on your model so either a hairdryer or use a little bit of hot water and they will literally just fall away and that's one of the things I love about Hay Gears supports they literally just fall away like a slug through butter not sure why I've used that reference but it seemed to work at the time all good and those supports have just come off beautifully as you can see the resin is printed lovely everything good now if you want to see how I made the cape in its entirety I'll put a link to my video at the end so let's try the other resin the ABS 3 plus let's use this in the uniformation GK 3 ultra this is a brand new machine that's literally just landed on my doorstep for review purposes I'll put a link again in the end to my full review of this printer if you are interested and I am going to be using a different slicer altogether here this is the GK slicer this is uniformation's very own slicer and compared to the first time I did the cape here we can print it in one go using the setting of two and a half seconds per layer and a 30 second bottom exposure time and a few hours later uh, the uniformation gk3 ultra has produced a wonderful a wonderful cape now i've had a little bit of a failure in the supports that's not going to be down to the resin that's just down to the support settings but luckily the thing printed in its entirety anyway so no real dramas at all getting it off the bill plate was beautiful so i'm happy with that bottom exposure this gkc slicer gk slicer even can't get my words out here put your teeth in tony is wonderful and there is the final printed cape now i thought it would be quite interesting for you to see this cape which I printed in its entirety next to the cape that I printed in parts on the Autograph Reflex RS using the three uh, Pro resin and as you can see <laughs> let's put that together it's been glued it's been sanded it's been filed the, the pro on the right and the plus on the left the the pro was a lot uh, more difficult to do but the results are gr they're fantastic aren't they they look really really wonderful i'm really chuffed i'm going to do something a little bit more intricate now and again we're going to the or well, they're going to the uniformation gk3 ultra and i'm going to do lara croft from hell studios lots of little parts some delicate little parts here and i'm going to print this again using the gk slicer again using the elegoo plus and we're going to use the two and a half second exposure time and 30 second bottom time as you can see there we've had a victory with the cape so why change anything now and a few hours later i'm going to show you the end result now i have literally took her off and i have took the supports off and i've glued it together i haven't cleaned her up so there's some support nubbing still in situ as you can see there she will need a little bit of sanding she will need a little bit of post work prep but i think you'll agree with me that the end result of lara croft using the elegoo resin has been 
well worth it. She's come out beautifully. Everything as I would expect. I've had no failures. I've had no problems. She is just going to need a clean up. There are some support nubbins on there as you can see. And I just wanted to show you it literally off the build plate support's often done. There's, I haven't done any magic, no sanding, no filing, no nothing with it. Wonderful. So these resins are doing a fantastic job. That's across two different printers, two different kinds of resin. Same obviously by Elegu, using different settings on each and the, the resin has just come through. I thought also I'd show you the end results to the Batman Zombie printed on the Elegu ABS3 Pro resin. The whole thing was printed in that and as you can see oh, the, it speaks for itself doesn't it the resin has done an absolutely fantastic job this was printed on the ultracraft reflex rs on the whole with the cape being printed on the uniformation gk3 ultra using the abs plus so both resins what i'm trying to show you really is that they both work wonderfully everything is good i've got no concerns with this elegu resin and i'll definitely be using this one as one of my go-to's going forward well i think the results speak for themselves uh, a good quality resin will work on a multitude of printers it's just getting the settings right really now the uniformation settings i probably need to tweak a little bit more that was my first go and they printed really really well but i'm sure that those of you that like to tweak and twiddle can get it even better the hay gears autocraft reflex rs i literally threw it in shows it part 10 and it printed wonderfully um if you like what you see today please please subscribe to the channel it's one simple click and you are subscribed if you want to join the greedy 3d patreon then you would be more than welcome to and thank you to my patrons and if you want to buy anything if you want to buy these resins if you want to buy the printers there'll be some links below in the description some of them are affiliate links which means that you will not pay any more but as a thank you to me for you buying through those links the companies can send me a little bit just to help me carry on doing these things but it doesn't cost you guys a penny more if you don't want to buy them through the links that's absolutely fine if you do it all helps see you next time on greedy 3d